What's going on guys? It's Samantha from Lone Crow Adventures, the channel where we talk about all things camping, hiking, and backpacking. Today we're reviewing the Coleman six-person instant cabin tent. Let's go. One of the things that Coleman boasts about the six-person instant cabin tent is that it has an instant setup in less than 60 seconds. So let's go ahead and check that out first. All right, so we're gonna see if we can get this set up in 60 seconds or less. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna space out so that the bathtub floor of the tent is nice and taut before we go ahead and stake it down. go. We've got the tent all staked out. Just to point out, you need six stakes to fully stake out this tent. One at each of the four corners and then one at the front door and then one at the back. But you do also have four additional tent pegs and those are for the guy out points on each of the four corners. So for good measure, I'm going to go ahead and throw those up right now. So these guy lines are a pretty thick paracord. It's some nice reflective material so you don't have to worry about tripping on it at night as long as you're wearing a headlamp or you have a flashlight. And these are just going to serve to kind of add some additional tension in the event that you have wind. Now with any kind of cabin style tent, you're not going to want to select this style for any kind of conditions where you're going to have winds above about 30 miles per hour. And that's kind of pushing it just with this style of tent in general. So keep that in mind before you make your purchase. I would say the process to completely assemble this tent, get it staked down and add the guy lines took less than three minutes. Now one thing that I am going to let you know is that there's a vent up here. And if you forget to open that vent and then you get your whole tent set up, don't worry. You know, if you're short like me, I'm only five foot two, I can't get to that vent. Not a big deal. Just go ahead, open up the tent, take a step inside, and then you can easily reach it. And then it has a little Velcro reinforced stay. Go ahead and pop that open, and that's gonna open up that vent really, really well. The other access to the vent is on the inside of this tent. So if you open up the zipper, you can stick your hand right through here and you can access that sty and you can collapse it or you can also erect it from the inside and then zip it back up, which is a really great feature because if it starts coming down and it's gonna rain pretty hard, you might wanna go ahead and just collapse it entirely. And it's nice that you don't have to get out of the tent to do that. There's a vent on the front of the tent and there's also an exact replica right on the back of the tent. So this is a view of all the windows unzipped. And you can see there's a lot of really nice ventilation. One of the things that I really appreciate in a tent is when it has zippers that operate really well. I've got the zipper down here. Look how easily it just slides all the way around almost effortlessly. There are two storage pockets on the inside of this tent and one central lantern hanger. Now the flooring of this tent does feature a bathtub style floor. So what that means is that there is this material, it's very tarp-like, that comes up right along the side walls. Now a lot of tents will have seam tape placed over the seams so that they do not leak. This tent does not. And I'm not sure how that's going to perform, but we're going to find out here shortly. What they have done instead is provided a reverse seam, and I'll show you that. The tent wall on the top and the bathtub floor on the bottom are conjoined, folded inward, and sewn on the inside so that the seam is located entirely 100% front of seam and back of seam on the inside of the tent. So theoretically, as it starts to rain, 
those seams are not going to soak through because they're all located on the inside of the tent. But we're going to be leaving this tent up for the next 24 hours. We are expecting some really heavy rain. So we will definitely find out whether or not this tent is going to be waterproof. Well, good morning, everybody. As you can see, we've had a change in weather conditions overnight. So yesterday we got a steady rain for about seven hours and we ended up getting almost two inches of rain. And then overnight that rain transitioned into snow and we got about an inch of snow overnight. So this is really great to test this tent for those of you interested in using it in the shoulder season when you're just not sure what mother nature is gonna bring to your campsite. We have tested it in sustained rain and with a light overnight snow. So let's see how this tent held up. So we've got a little bit of snow on the tent walls, which, you know, that's to be expected. You know, this is a three season tent after all. It is not a four season tent. It held up extremely well. We'll take a closer look at the seams here. You can see there's some snow on the outside of the tent, but there is nothing in the corner of the tent. And all along the side, it is completely dry. Even these seams here at the edge, completely dry. And when I touch the tent, right, no, no condensation on the inside. All right, so we're bone dry in here, which is, pretty phenomenal especially considering that the unexpected weight of the snow is going to add some extra tension to those seams and they were able to stay completely watertight which is a really really great sign for this tent so let's talk about what i would give for a rating on the coleman six person instant cabin tent i think after the conditions it was subjected to on its first trial this tent definitely earns a score of five out of five crows. And that rating is something that is pretty tough to get on this channel because I'm pretty critical of this gear. I want you guys to feel comfortable purchasing something after I've reviewed it. This tent is worth every penny. And if you're looking for a good solid tent to keep your family dry and safe, this is the one that you're gonna wanna go with. So thanks so much guys for joining me. Until next time, We'll see you on the trail.